Okay, so this is going to be a shorter section, but water is really important. So you need to, to make sure that you remember um, the, um, the way water is used in the body and the functions. Um, water is important in the body as a solvent. It is um, part of the, um, there's water inside the cells that helps maintain the shape of the cell. There's water between cells. Um, that helps maintain the shape of tissue and there's water the majority of extracellular water is actually in the bloodstream so water helps maintain the shape of the body but also is critical in transporting oxygen and nutrients and waste products through um, through the body um, fluid balance is regulated by hormones there are several hormones involved in that when you get to the endocrine system in the fall semester you get really in depth into um, which hormones regulate fluid balance and how when you're assessing a patient we want to see intake and output relatively equal most of the time if your patient comes into you very dehydrated and you stop their losses of fluid and start getting some fluid into them then you would expect for a few shifts to see greater intake than output right if your patient comes into you and see to chf and um, they're very fluid overloaded and you uh, load them up with lasix or maybe some other things to try to get fluid off you would hope to see a lot more output than intake. But in nor a normal state of health, we want to see relatively equal intake and output. We lose water via urine. Um, that's where the majority of it goes. We also lose, lose water through the GI tract, uh, the lungs, the skin, and through bleeding. Uh, thirst is a late sign of dehydration. If your patient is thirsty, they've been dehydrated for a little while. Uh, fluids other than water can be hydrating. Caffeine and alcohol tend to cause diuresis, and so they may, in the end, cause greater dehydration. But fluids other than water can be hydrating. So we have this idea sometimes that only drinking water hydrates people. Um, if someone cannot get and keep water down because of uh, maybe nausea, if they can get something else in, maybe they can get some, some hydration. Uh, fluids other than water may contain sugar or other substances that might be um, less than optimal for health, but they can still be hydrating. Drinking, replacing fluid loss with only water in too short a time period can actually lower electrolyte levels, in particular sodium. So we see this sometimes with um, maybe long distance runner, they run a marathon, um, they lose a lot of water and electrolytes through sweating. They replace with only water. They can actually lower their sodium level um, to the point of causing um, cerebral edema. So um, yes, water is healthy. Yes, we wanna encourage drinking water, but there are actually some cautions about that. Um, in the next video, we're gonna start talking about the processes involved in nutrition.